Hello everyone, my name is Akshit. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about Automation Anywhere and the Active Directory commands. Let's get started. To start with, uh, I'll first show you the input file that uh, we will first create users in, in, in this one and in the next couple of videos we'll uh, see how can we you know interact with groups or organization units and all. So in this one we'll start with creating the users and these are the four users I'm, I'm going to create in my active directory um, these are the four names which are nothing but the uh, Indian cricketers name uh, these are the attributes uh, starting from username login name first last name display name initials I've just kept it blank um, email address description department title active and active and password so if you are thinking how I get all this information Actually, I'm getting all this information right from the command that we have to create a user in the Active Directory. So if you see, I have already mapped everything into uh, the uh, Active, uh, Active Directory command already here with all the headers. Uh, nothing fancy here. Um, next, I'm going to show you the Active Directory itself. So this is my Active Directory server. This is my text te test Active Directory. Uh, nothing fancy here again. If you go to the users, it's all, all blank here. All right, uh, let's go to the Active Directory commands here. So before I want uh, connecting to Active Directory, I'm opening the Excel file here and I'm reading the each row in the Excel file as a record variable and then we are creating the variable. The important part which I want to discuss is how do we connect with the Active Directory? How do we get this path? So to do this, we'll click on, uh, let me delete this command from here and this one as well. This is simple, so I'll not, you know, discuss this one. Uh, just one part here, uh, if the user is active, you might want to check this. If the user is in inactive, you might want to uncheck this. So right now, I'm just keeping uh, uh, all the users active. So I'll not <clears throat> uh, work on the inactive users command, but if you want, you can. Okay. Uh, the next one from here is, uh, let me go to the active directory. Let's, let's keep the dis uh, disconnect command because there is nothing fancy here. The main section that I want to talk is how to connect it. So I'll just, you know, drag and drop this command here. This is blank right now. Session name is default. So we click on the built path. This will take a time and then it'll open up here like this. Asking me to enter the host name domain username and password so username and password you would know domain and host you will get from your uh, administrator so uh, for this server you can see my domain uh, uh, i mean my, my host is sql server itself so i'll just mention uh, sql server uh, next thing the domain is uh, how do we get the domain now so uh, the domain is actually this one myad.com so uh, myad.com. So for my server, it is myad.com. For, for your server, it will be different. So make sure that you're adding the correct domain from here. If you don't know, if by chance you don't have the access to the UI, you might want to check with your Active Directory administrator uh, about the domain. Next thing from here is uh, the uh, username. So this specific username, administrator will share these information with you uh, just make sure that you're adding the uh, domain in front of it so like my domain is myad.com i'm just using my ad here as my domain and my uh, username is administrator and the password is this right now it's it's uh, 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 i mean it's a plain text uh, but when you will do the actual connection then we can use it the, the uh, credential variables. However, just to build the path, you will have to provide the password as a plain text. So if you're getting this window, that means your connection is fine. You're able to connect with the Active Directory and it is responding well. However, if your connection is not fine, then you might see a different window. Uh, to check now if the connection is fine or not, what you will have to do is, uh, the first thing you would want to do is Telnet. Uh, I don't have the... Uh, Telnet install on my system, so I'll do Telnet from my PowerShell uh, commands. Uh, so there is a different command to do the Telnet. It's called test net connection. So I'll use the alias as TNC or maybe test.net connection. And then we need the uh, uh, then we need the 
port, uh, I'm sorry, the IP address. So IP address, I'll just use SQL Server. If you have the IP address, then you can use the IP address. And the port number where the Active Directory sits is usually eight, I'm sorry, 389. Uh, if the port number is different, then you might want to check with your uh, uh, with your network administrator that what is a port number. However, if uh, your port number is same and you're getting a true here, that means the connectivity is fine. Uh, your system is uh, properly responding to the uh, server. There's no problem in terms of connectivity. So if this is coming true, that means that there is a problem with the credentials. So, so you might want to check the credentials here. So now my path is fine. Next thing I want to add the username here. So I'll just choose the variable that I've already created. I've not created the variable. So let me create a uh, credential variable. Nothing fancy, just username. And I'll just use my, uh, my ID slash administrator. Create and another user I'll create here. So I have We call it password. And the password is this. Okay. Um, it's going to be my username. And this is going to be my password. So now, if we'll try to run this bot, we will get the error. I'll tell you why we'll get the error, but we'll see. First, we are getting the error or not. Bot started running. And we will get the error right at line number four while we'll try to create the user. It says unprocessed continuation reference or references. Why we get this error is we need to understand now. The domain path that we have given is fine. However, we have not properly informed the Active Directory where to create this user. So just like, you know, folders in our uh, normal, you know, Windows Explorer, Active Directory also has folders. So if you see here, these all are folders. So we have given a path to the Active Directory to create the user directly here, and it will not able to create the user here. So we need to provide the proper folder where that user has to be created. So the proper folder name here is users. So what we'll do is we'll go back here, right? See here, it's, it's giving the proper information here as well. So uh, while we are working with users, we'll have to provide the CN, which is nothing but some sometimes calls as a common name or sometimes called as canonical name. Uh, separated by a semicolon, make sure. And then the rest is same. So we'll just save it. Now it will work fine. So now we are saying the Active Directory to connect with the server. This is my Active Directory server. And then in this folder, go ahead and create the users. Okay. So we'll run it one more time. And I'm using Excel basics. That's the reason you're not able to see the Excel command coming up. So here we go. And this time it will work. Depending on the speed, uh, you know, we'll get the proper, uh, I mean, what we're done. All right, bot run is successful. Let's go to the Active Directory and check users are created or not. Let me refresh and I can see that Rahul Dravid, Sachin Tendulkar, Suresh Raina and Dinesh Karthik is created. This is his email address. And one more thing, if I you know go to the Excel file, I want to show you that the difference between username and login name. So this is my username and this is my login name. So we'll see we, where these values are going. So just to differentiate these, I have added uh, ln in front of the logon name as a prefix so let's have a look so display name and if we go to the account we have the logon name here and everything is fine here and right now we just worked with uh, these all attributes in the active directory which are 12 however if you go to the active directory attribute editor there are actually a lot of these attributes you might want to set the values for. However, if you're not able to see this attribute editor in your UI, then uh, what you have to do is you'll have to go to the uh, view and click check this advanced options, advanced features, I'm sorry. And then you will be able to see that option and you will only be able to see this option by coming into the folder and selecting 
the specific user or maybe group however if you will go from here and try to search some user for example let me go to the entire directory from here maybe just my ad and try to search dinesh and search this one i can see this user but i will not be able to see that that attribute editor here so if you want to see the attribute editor you you will have to you know scroll down from here go to the specific folder and select the specific user from here then you will be able to see the attribute editor and to see this you will again have to enable this feature advanced features okay so now these all are the attributes and these are all, all are the values we just played with 12 however let's say you want to uh, update the value of any of the attributes that we already set maybe department or any other attribute which is mentioned here so uh, how do we do this so i'll just you know work with one from here and then you know you will get the idea how to work with others so let's say uh, in incorrectly updated the department of the specific user from uh, to finance team and he should belong to some other team so i'm just copying this attribute name which is department from here i'm going back to uh, here just want to check we have the hr and it department so let's move this uh, specific user from the finance department to the hr department and if description department we are changing the description should also change let's not do it for dinesh karthik because only one people i have from finance team uh, let's work with rahul dravid instead so um, let me go back to the active directory we'll go to rahul dravid the attribute editor and what we're going to change is the description name uh, this yeah department and description so we'll change it see, we'll see how to do that we'll go back to the automation anywhere let me create a new bot instead we'll go to the uh, automation and then create a user I call it update user so what i'll do is i'll just you know copy few lines of code from here like this and this one mm, to the shared clipboard i'll come here paste it here next thing i want to do is uh, i think this credential should also be updated yeah let me delete these unused variables from here i don't want to see this sample number and now uh, we'll go to the active directory command one more time just want to see that there is no problem here while connecting excel we are not going to work in this one <clears throat> use this set user property yeah this is the command yeah so uh, logon name is the same that we have here already which is going to be the account and we'll get the logon name from here oops i'm sorry let me just cancel it uh, account i'll just copy the logon name from here property so description okay and the value that we want to update is uh, finance department okay let me just copy it from here itself this value as well and for the same user we also want to update this another property which is department all right so the finance uh, uh, it will remain same so i'll just run it from here and actually you can create this as a reusable bot uh, get the property name as an input variable and the value as an input variable and the logon name as an input variable so this will directly go and change the properties for the specific user so this should work fine let me just cancel this one refresh it once just to see everything worked well and we'll go to the rahul dravid finance team is updated and if i'll go to the accounts uh, yeah i can see finance team here as a department as well now let's have a look at the attribute editor the two things that we have updated is finance team here and finance team here it is being updated all right so this is it for this specific video uh, we'll start working with the groups in the next video thank you so much for your time have a great day